This is Joanne Tan. Last newsletter, I wrote a poem. Is a life complete without another? About basically, what's the point of marriage? Here's another poem. Ode to ideal love. The exact opposite. Perhaps the best thing I learned from law school is to see the same issue from opposite points. Frankly, as of now, I like the previous poem better. Is a life complete without another? Now, the new poem. Actually, I wrote it in January this year, but I just edited it. Together and apart, old to ideal love. Nothing to do with Valentine. Together and apart, the ebb and flow, strings of the heart. Stillness needs a disturbing stone, rippling music, love's tone. Absence feeds imagination, longing softens tribulation. Eager fingers caressing harp strings, improvisations unceasing, playing, playful, played. Inevitable, spectacular, fateful stars, merging paths. Together and apart, the yin and yang of the heart. Synced flow of a galaxy, dance in harmony. Order or disorder cannot keep them apart. Not meant for many, not for any cause. Not out of duty, not because of charity not for any reason, all for that one beloved person whose sight intrigues, whose voice moves, whose movement captivates, whose mind activates. Like the moon around the earth, waxing and waning on a committed course, far and near, up and down, never deviates from eternal bond. Together and apart, out of two souls forms one, never depart.